mills and today I'm going to show you some of the different classes of wheat and then a simplified version of the milling process. So out of this wheat, which is harvested in the combine, um, they get out the wheat kernels which are then sent to a mill. There is a variety of different classes of wheat. Durham is used in pastas and then there's the soft wheats which are lower lower in protein, so those are good for products that don't need as much rise, so things like cookie and cake. And then the hard has a higher protein than soft, and that's used for breads um, and different products that do need that rise in the product. And then over here we have the milling process. Uh, mills are very large, many stories high, and each of the different steps will take up a whole floor. But this gives you kind of an idea of how we can mill. So we'll go ahead and turn this on. And when these come to the mill, they would go through a breakage process. So you can see there's three breaks happening in this demonstration. There's one here, one down here, and then one there. And the rollers are closer together and move faster as it kind of moves down the process and, and it's broken into smaller pieces. There's three parts to the wheat. There's the bran, germ, and endosperm. So through that break, you're kind of breaking those three components apart. And then those come down and they are sifted. Uh, the endosperm, which is that white part of the flower that you traditionally find in your enriched flowers, is what's small enough to fall through the holes of the sifter and the brain and germ are separated out. So then what you end up with is the endosperm or the white flower. So that would be just in your all-purpose flowers that a lot of people bake with. And then over here we have the brain and germ that are separated out. But brain and germ um, do have a lot of nutritional values, so that's where um, this will be ground to a finer particle size and these two are combined to be able to get you your whole wheat flowers.